Are you using React? Are you using Tailwind? Do you want to make a dark or a light mode theme for your website or app? Let me show you how it's done. My name's Dustin and I'm a developer here at Treehouse. Let's get started. So to get started with a new React project, I'm going to use Vite. We'll say npm create Vite at latest. I'm going to call this dark mode. We'll set this up with React and we'll set this up as a JavaScript project. And now I'm going to CD into dark mode and just run npm i to install everything. And then we'll open this up in the editor. All right, now that we're in the editor, I'm going to go ahead and delete a few things just to kind of get us started. Inside of index.css, I'm going to copy everything and just erase it. I'm going to completely remove the app.css file and inside of app.jsx, I'm going to copy everything and create a basic app file. Okay, so now let's open up the terminal and run npm run dev and let's see our project in the browser. Okay, so it's pretty basic. It just says app. So in order to install Tailwind, I came to the docs here because it's been a while since I've used this with React and Vite. So using Vite, uh, we need to run npm install and install a few uh, packages here. So let's go back into the terminal and I'm going to paste this in. It's npm install Tailwind CSS. All right, now that that is finished, it says we need to import the Tailwind into our Vite config. So let's do that at the top of the file and also let's include in our plugins uh, Tailwind CSS and hit save. We should see our project now. It should look a little different than earlier, but let's make sure that Tailwind is uh, installed correctly. So let's go to our app and let's say class name and we'll say text red 500. Okay, cool. It works. So Tailwind is officially set up with our basic React project. I'm going to build a very quick UI with just a couple of buttons. I'll speed through this since this isn't really the main part of the video. And when I'm done, I'll come back and I'll explain what we've done and how we're going to start setting up our dark mode. So what I'm doing here, I just wanted to kind of stop and show this to you. Um, I'm importing some icons. This is super simple to do. Uh, I really like React icons. All you need to do is just go to reacticons.github.io. I'll put a link down below for you. And just type in whatever icon that you're looking for. And I'm going to type in sun because I'm going to use a sun icon. And I really like this one from Lulu Sun. So you just copy this import. You paste it at the top of the file that you want to use the icon. Then you copy the code for the icon and you just paste it. And then all you need to do to use it is just run npm i react icons to install the uh, icon library. Run your server again. Make sure you hit save in your component. And then when you go back to the browser, you should see an icon. Pretty cool. Okay, so I think we're done. This is pretty basic. I'll go over it really fast. Uh, we just have a container that is the full height of the height and width of the browser, and I placed everything in the center. And the only thing in the center is this one container that contains our buttons. And it's basically just a container that contains two buttons. We have a sun icon for light mode and we have a moon icon for dark mode. And right now nothing happens because we don't have any uh, logic for this yet. But right now I'll show you how we can set up the dark mode. It's actually very, very simple. If we go back to the Tailwind docs and we go to dark mode and we scroll down, we see that we need to add this to our CSS. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And back in our index.css file, I'm just going to paste that in there and hit save. Now that doesn't do anything, but what it allows us to do is add a class name. So if I were to add the class of dark on our entire page right here, right? Nothing will happen because we don't have any dark classes set up. But in order to set up a dark class, it's pretty simple. So right now you can see for the entire app, we're using a BG of white. You can see this by changing it to red. So this is controlling the entire page. Let's set that back to white. Now, if we want to have a different color for this in dark mode, we would just need to write dark colon BG, and then we could say zinc 800, something dark, right? And then we'll hit save. 
and now you see that we have this dark mode and that's because of this dark class that we have set on the parent container. So if we remove that, we'll have our light mode. If we add it back, we'll have our dark mode. So I'm gonna leave this class on the parent container so that I can adjust how our app looks in dark mode. For the button container, we can say dark BG zinc 700. And now for the hover, I think that hover is just a little too light. Something really cool that we can do, pro tip, we can say dark hover BG zinc 100. And if we hit save, you'll see it's, it's pretty light, but we can actually reduce the opacity by just adding a forward slash and then our opacity value. We could say like 10%. So now when we hover over it, it's a little bit lighter, which I think looks really good. And I also think we want to take the text and we'll say dark text white. So this is what our button will look like in dark mode. I really like these settings. So let's go ahead and just copy this for our second button as well. Cool. So this is our dark mode. And if we go ahead and take the dark class off of the parent container, we'll have our light mode. So now we should work with use state to manage the state of the application so that our users can choose if they want a dark or light mode. And that's really simple. We're going to need to import use state. So I'll say import use state from React. And just above the return statement, we're going to set up our variables. We'll say theme and then set theme is equal to use state. And we'll just set an empty string. So basically, whenever we want our dark mode to be active, we'll set the theme to dark. But whenever we don't have dark mode activated, we'll just have an empty string for our theme. And now we just need to set up some on clicks on our buttons. So for the light mode, we'll say set theme and we'll set it to an empty string. Let's just copy this on click for our second button and then we will just write dark and we'll hit save. So now whenever we click this dark mode icon, which is the moon, it will set our theme as dark. And then whenever we click the light icon, it's just gonna set it to an empty string. So all we need to do is conditionally render that class of dark to this container based off what the value of theme is in our state. Let's go ahead and remove these quotation marks and replace them with curly braces because we're going to need to write some logic in here. And also we're going to add a set of back ticks. And then at the very beginning, let's just interpolate a value. We can say if theme is equal to dark, let's add the class of dark. And if not, we'll set a class. Well, we won't actually set a class. So let's click our dark mode. Sweet. It changes everything to dark and clicking light mode changes everything back. So setting up dark mode for our website or app is really simple with React, especially using Tailwind. And I really hope that you can use this to make some really cool looking apps in the future. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.